Let's turn this cube into something instead of deleting it. Delete one edge and bevel another one with Ctrl P. Scroll the middle mouse wheel up to increase the amount of segments. You can bevel these corner vertices with Shift Ctrl B. In object mode, right click and choose Shade Smooth and enable Auto Smooth as well. Add a solidify modifier and increase the thickness. Add a cylinder and scale it down, then enable Shade Smooth and Auto Smooth as well. Duplicate the cylinder a few times and join these cylinders into one object with Ctrl J. Add a Boolean modifier to the cube, set to difference with the cylinders as the object. Under Viewport Display, set the maximum draw type of the cylinders to wire. You can also just disable their render visibility in the outliner. Finally, add a bevel modifier. Pull tool is a useful cutting tool that you can enable in preferences. First, create an object that acts like a cutter. With the cutter selected, hold Shift and select the other object. Press Ctrl and minus on the numpad to cut. You can still see the cutter object as a bounding box, and you can move, rotate and scale it. When you press Tab, you can still edit the object like a normal mesh so you can add bevels to it, for example. In edit mode, you can also duplicate the mesh if you want to create some kind of array quickly. If it doesn't work, try moving the cutter slightly until it does. You can find all the other functions in the edit tab in the option panel. What I like to do in a boolean workflow is add some useful things to the quick favorites menu. For example, you'll always need Shade Smooth and Auto Smooth. Shadow and Cavity from the Viewport Shading menu are also nice for some extra visual appeal. Apply All is a function that is added by enabling the modifier tools in Preferences. It applies all modifiers at once. To make slice cuts like this, create a second object that acts like a cutter and then, assuming you have the bool tool add-on enabled, press Ctrl and minus on the notepad. This adds a boolean modifier with a difference operation on your object. Now select the cutter object and add a solidify modifier. Change the thickness value to change the thickness of the slice. Then you can add a bevel to the cutter object to make the slice look round like this. You can add more segments to make the bevel rounder. You can also add a bevel to the original object. To create more than one slice, just keep adding solidify modifiers to the cutter objects. Make sure that they are above the bevel modifier. Adjusting thickness values will change the way it looks. You can create a lot of variation with just these modifiers. Select the cylinder, hold shift and select the cube. Then press Ctrl and minus on the numpad. Apply all modifiers and delete the cutter object. As you can see, some unnecessary vertices are left over. We can fix this in a couple of ways. We can select them and then merge them one by one. Or we can turn on auto merge vertices. Then just slide the vertices to their neighbors by pressing G twice. The vertices are then merged automatically.
Now we just have to repeat this step a few times. To create some support loops around this hole, an easy way is to select the inner faces and press I to inset, but don't move the mouse. Then press Alt S and scale the selection inwards. Now add an edge loop on the inside with Ctrl R. Subdivided, it looks perfect. No boolean issues left. The weld modifier also comes in handy when cleaning up unnecessary vertices left over from boolean cutting. Simply add the weld modifier and turn on the on cage button so you can see the result in edit mode. Then increase the value until you get something that works. If you want to limit the modifier to a specific area, you can also use a vertex group. If you found this topic interesting and would like to know more, don't forget that you can find it in my Blender Secrets ebook, along with almost 2000 pages of other tips. To get an idea of what the ebook is like, you can download the free sample from my website.